Hello, I'm Minji. I make cosplay and fantasy costumes over on my YouTube channel. You can find me at Minji Lee. Today I'm going to be making a cosplay based off of Keyleth from Vox Machina. Vox Machina is getting a second season. The new costume has been hinted at in the trailer and it's all different shades of red. So it's going to be very exciting and new. So let's get started. Keyleth needs a variety of colors and I always love to have lots of different textures to make the costume more interesting. There's a brown dragon scale brocade, a maroon poly crepe, and an orange faux suede. I'll also be working with a dark red leather and a gold stretch fabric for the trim. Before I can sew anything together, I need to cut the fabric. I'm going to build this costume from the inside out, starting with the leggings. That way I can make sure each layer will fit over all the other layers that need to go underneath. The leggings are fairly simple and only require a few seams. I first pin everything together, then hand based on the seam line. This makes it much easier to run through the cover stitch machine. I trimmed my seam allowance down before stitching for the first few seams, but later decided it was easier to trim after stitching to make sure I didn't leave any gaps. The first step for the dress is to sew the top and bottom sections together, since Keyleth has some color blocking in the bodice area. Once those are together, I can sew all the pieces into a dress shape. Before the dress becomes a three-dimensional shape, I want to install the zipper at the center back. To do this, I machine base the two center back pieces together using a wide stitch, then I hand base the zipper so it's centered on the center back opening. Using a zipper foot, I can stitch around the zipper, then open up the center back seam with a seam ripper. The rest of the pieces can go together once the zipper is done. While I'm pinning and sewing, I'm being really careful to match up the points where the two colors meet so it makes a smooth line all the way around the dress. After pressing and trimming the seams, then I top stitch each seam to make sure they lay flat since the suede is kind of bulky and the crepe doesn't press very crisp. To add the sleeves, I finish the sleeve hem first, then stitch them into the arm size of the dress. The main shell is done now, so I can attach the lining to the outer fabric, right sides together at the neckline. The last part of the base dress to finish is the hem. I stitch the two layers of the gold hem binding together, then stitch them to the hem of the dress, top stitching at the outermost edge, folding under the top edge, and top stitching there as well. To help the presser foot from sticking and dragging along the gold fabric, I've laid tissue paper over top while I sew. The tissue paper is then super easy to remove and it makes for a really nice clean stitch. Next I'm going to work on the collar armor bit. First I'll make the part that goes around the neck by stitching the pieces together at the very top edge, then inserting a layer of buckram for stiffness and closing that up with a stitch at the bottom edge. I stitch the neck piece to the bib piece, sandwiching it between the leather and the lining at the neck opening. To bind the outer edge of the collar, I first stitch the gold binding to the leather, flip it around to encase the lining, and hand stitch the binding to the lining. For the closure, I'm using a button covered in the same gold fabric I've been using for all of the bindings. While I'm working on leather, I'm going to make the bracers. I'm binding the edges with the same gold fabric by stitching the gold right side together with the leather, then flipping it around and top stitching. The braces are tied to the wrist and forearm, so they need a zipper to make them easy to get on and off. I put in the zipper using the same method as the dress, stitching the seam closed, sewing in the zipper, then seam ripping it open. The belt is made of thin EVA foam, layered and adhered with contact adhesive. Once the foam layers are secured, a layer of gold fabric is glued to the top of the foam with the same contact cement, and then stitched to emphasize the details. The belt is backed with the orange suede I used for the dress and closes with velcro. The final part of this costume is Keyless Circlet of Wisdom. I draw out the general shape of the circlet and once it's refined I can trace it onto a 12mm EVA foam. This is cut out very carefully with a craft knife and shaped with a Dremel tool. Before painting I need to spray a primer onto the foam and let it dry, then I can paint them with tan and brown acrylic paints. 
Keyless New Design has a red gem in between the two parts of the circlet, so to make the gem, I cast it in resin and use nail polish on the back for the sparkly red color. To attach the circlet to my head, I use a snap for the gem and magnets for the antlers, which will keep the circlet fixed to the wig. And that's it! Thank you guys so much for watching this cosplay tutorial on making Keyless costume from season two of Vox Machina. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I really hope this gets you as hyped up as I am for season two of Vox Machina. And once again, my name is Minji and you can check me out at Minji Lee on my YouTube channel. Thanks. Mm -hmm.